Hey, this is Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today I'm going to show you how to install a Squadron Pro S2 LED light kit from Baja Designs on the CRF 450L. For most riders on dual sport bikes, lighting is a very common upgrade. Now the CRF 450L, it does come with pretty good lighting in stock form, especially when you compare it to other bikes. But if you're doing any kind of serious night riding or just want to upgrade the lighting on it, then this kit is for you. Baja Designs makes some of the best LED lights out there. And the cool thing about this, it's a plug and play unit. It combines the S2 and Squadron Pro LEDs into one unit. So that means you're going to have 1100 lumens for the low beam and 4900 lumens for the high beam. Now the Squadron Pro, this is what we use on most of our dirt bikes, adventure bikes, and dual sport bikes. It gives out some serious lighting. So it's a great option. And again, this thing's really simple to put on. It just replaces this whole assembly. So we'll go ahead and show you how to get this installed. To do this job, we'll need some common hand tools, including a Torx T20 safety bit, needle nose pliers, a Phillips screwdriver. We've got a 10 millimeter T handle. You can also use socket and wrench. And then of course we have safety glasses, rags. We'll also need the Baja Designs Squadron Pro S2 LED lighting kit. All right, so on our face plate, we have a bolt holding it on on both sides. So we'll remove both of those bolts and those are a 10 millimeter head. And then we're gonna pull up on this. There's two rubber grommets at the bottom and some tabs sticking down in them. So we'll pull that up and then we can start disconnecting the electrical connections. So right near the top, we have this plastic clip holding our wires in place. And to disconnect it, there's a couple tabs on the back. We need to squeeze those together so it can pop through its retainer. So now we can remove this rubber cover that is over our headlight fitting. And this is the connector we need to disconnect. So to do that, there's a tab. We'll just press down on that and pull it apart. So there's this rectangular module mounted on the side just has a rubber piece holding it on. So we'll slide that up out of, the, out of its place and then we'll remove the headlight assembly. All right, so we need to remove some hardware from the stock headlight unit. And what we'll do, we've got this bracket right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. And this is just using the T20 safety bit. And that just means it has that hollow point because these screws have the pin in them. So now we have four Phillips screws that we need to take out and we'll remove the aluminum brackets with it. So now I'm gonna flip this assembly over and we've got this adjusting screw on the bottom. I'm gonna loosen that up all the way, but I'm gonna hold the back of the headlight just so it doesn't drop out. So now I'm gonna flip the assembly back over and I'm gonna remove the stock headlight assembly. And when I do that, there's two rubber grommets on each side We'll remove both of those and we are going to reuse those later on. And then the last thing we'll remove from the stock assembly is the plastic clip that is for the adjuster. To get this thing installed, what we need to do, we've got our adjusting clip we just removed from the stock unit and we'll slide this into place. Then we have our rubber grommets on each side. Pop those into place. Now our instructions mention the zip tie right here and talk about adding one, but our kit actually came with it already installed. After that, what we need to do, we'll set this down into place, but we need to make sure our adjusting screw is set up right. So we need to make sure the washer and spring are on and then we'll put this washer on top. 
Then I'll set this down into place and I'll screw this adjuster down just a little bit. We'll make our adjustment after it's on the bike. So now that we've done that, we'll go ahead and press these rubber grommets down into place. Take the aluminum retainers and reinstall those with the four mounting screws. So our kit came with a couple of bolts and washers. So what we use those for are the brackets we removed from that stock headlight unit. So on this one, it's gonna mount on the bottom just like this. For this top bracket, I'm just gonna install it. So it's at about a 90 degree right now. And then once the bolt's all, almost all the way in, and I'm just rotating it up for clearance when we go to install the headlight. And then I'll tighten it down. So this wire harness adapter that came with our kit has two different colored wires coming up. So this red wire on this clip, this is gonna go to our low beam. So if you fire, follow this wire down, that's gonna be on this side over here. And it's not a bad idea to use a little bit of dielectric grease on these. And then this white wire, it's going to connect to our high beam. With the headlight back over at the bike, make sure you have the harness clip pushed down. And then we'll take this rectangular module and install it back onto this bracket. Then after that, we can take our headlight plug plug this back into the harness and we'll move this rubber cover down over our connectors. So now we'll take our face plate and we'll line up the two mounting tabs with the rubber grommets and press them down into place. Now we can take our two mounting bolts and put them back into both sides and tighten them down. The last thing we need to do is aim the headlight. So I'm gonna to try to get this close with our adjuster. And then what we can do, we can back it up on level ground, maybe 20, 25 feet from a wall and see where they're pointing and make adjustments from there. And that's all there is to installing the Squadron Pro S2 LED light kit from Baja Designs on your bike. It's really easy to install and is a serious upgrade over the stock unit. If you need this part, it's available on our website along with just about anything you could want for your machine. So be sure to check that out and subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a ton of other helpful videos on there. Thanks for watching and that's all for now.